Cameron Campbell. I'm a professor in the Division of Social Science in the School of Humanities and Social Science at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. I came to Hong Kong seven years ago. One of the reasons that I came to Hong Kong was the opportunity to work with colleagues in the Division of Social Science to launch the undergraduate program, Quantitative Social Analysis, that I'm going to introduce to you today. This program provides a combined training in social science, including sociology, political science, economics, and psychology, with a rigorous training in the use of quantitative methods to analyze social data. At present, few, if any, undergraduate programs prepare their students to analyze social data by providing an integrated training in social science theory and evidence, statistical methods, the analysis of social data, and the interpretation and presentation of results. Students will learn to locate and manage the social data that they need to study trends, patterns, and relationships of interest. They will also learn how to design and conduct quantitative analysis that will yield insight into social, political, and economic phenomenon, and which accounts for the special challenges of working with social data. Students will learn to interpret results and present them to a non-expert audience. The general emphasis is on real-world applications that will prepare students for the job market, or if they desire, postgraduate studies. Our undergraduate curriculum has three elements. First, quantitative methodology. Students take foundational mathematics courses in their first year and then take advanced courses in social science, mathematics, and other disciplines to learn the methods that they need. Second, social science theory and evidence. So that students can understand the broader context of their analysis, they will take topical courses in sociology, political science, psychology, and other disciplines. Third, data management. Students will learn how to analyze social problems and data with programming skills and software like RStudio, Python, and other languages and packages which are the basics for social data analysis. Overall, there are three components to the coursework for the program. First, the University Common Core. These are Palette classes in a variety of different fields that all undergraduate students take at HKUST, no matter what their major is. Second, there is the core of the program itself, the required courses, as well as the program electives that make up the quantitative social analysis program. Third, students have a complement of free electives, classes that they can use to pursue a minor in a different discipline or pursue interests beyond the QSA program. All QSA students will acquire basic training in required courses in social science, mathematics, language, and computer science in their first two years of studies and gain experience on carrying out analysis of data independently. In their third year, students take laboratory courses in conjunction with their electives in both topical and methodological menus so that they are capable of designing and executing their capstone projects in their final year. Students may also receive credit for completing internships related to QSA. Our program is ideal for students with quantitative skills who would like to apply them in the study of topics related to society. Thus, students are expected to have great interest in social phenomenon and in learning quantitative methods, and they should have strong mathematics ability. Students can also opt for exchange studies for at least one semester. On top of the many exchange partners that HKUST has, our school has many prestigious partner institutions in other parts of the world, like UCLA, University of Virginia, Sciences Po in Paris, Peking University, and more. We believe that overseas experience can enrich students in many different ways. Our school also has a partnership with Waseda University in Japan, and we collaborate with them to offer a dual degree program to our undergraduate students. Students in this program spend three years to complete their undergraduate studies in the School of Humanities and Social Science at HKUST, and then go to Waseda for two years more of bachelor's studies. So students end up obtaining two bachelor's degrees, one from US, HKUST School of Humanities and Social Science, and one from Waseda University, 
all within five years. The knowledge and skills learned in our program allow our graduates to fit into the positions related to the analysis of social data in government, commercial companies, NGOs, education, and research institutions. For admission requirements, if you are applying through the JUPA system, we require four core subjects and two electives. If you have taken M1 or M2, the subject will be counted as one elective and the score will be multiplied by 1.5. We also double count the score of English and mathematics. If you're an international applicant, we, we will review both your academic and non-academic performance, your personal statement, referees reports, and interview performance. You may also check out the respective admissions requirements on the admissions office website at join.ust.hk. Please check out our program website and also follow us on social media for more updates. I hope that this video has helped you learn more about our undergraduate program, Quantitative Social Analysis. We look forward to seeing you here at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Thank you very much for watching.